Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Rachel and Gary. Come on, cherry buns. Let's get busy. Fun. Worry beads, and it's to try and keep you nice and calm. You can play with them. We're getting it. But someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, uh, it's Samson with Doctor Juno. Hello there, Doctor Juno. Hello, and Samson. Oh, he loves coming here. Oh, and we love having him. Look at that, he's enjoying that. Oh, <laughs> oh here, I think that's enough patting, isn't it? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. You'll get a good view when we dress Claude up as a violinist with a dicky bow and a tailcoat. <laughs> <laughs> well, why a violinist, Granny Murray? To add a bit of calm before the storm of the day. <laughs> Come, let us glide to our chair. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely and calming, Granny Murray. To be honest, I've been a bit frazzled today. Oh, why? Well, there's just so much to do. Well, obviously, I've got to get to work. But I promised Chuck that I'd have lunch with her at this Chinese restaurant she's been going on about. And also, there's the problem with Samson. Oh, dear. What's Samson's problem? Well, can't you smell him? Well, I did smell a wee whiff of something. Well, he's been rolling around in some muck somewhere and he smells disgusting. Don't worry, Doctor Juno. I'll give him a bath. Oh, would you, Granny Murray? Oh, there goes my beeper. I better get off to work. Oh, no probs. You have to know what to do. I've got to give you this. It's very important. Oh, oh, oh. Sit, Doctor Juno. Less rush, more speed. Well, I've got this plastic duck. If you just fill up a tub with water and put the duck in it, Samson will be much happier about getting into the tub for his bath. Instructions received. Samson will be bathed and come up smelling of roses. <laughs> Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, look, there's Claude the maestro. <laughs> He'll keep us nice and calm all day long. Hey, give us a tune, Claude. Oh. Well done, everyone. He reminds me of my Angus. He used to play in a jazz band. Oh. Oh, no. I'm going to be shaking and frazzled before I get there. Oh. Take these. They're worry beads. They'll help you stay calm. Thank you, Granny Murray. Come on. Bye, Samson. Now remember, less rush. More speed. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a truck way. Be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points Whining, 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 drives the speed up Squeak, 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 it slows us down Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street Now squeak, squeak, it to a stop I'm in the need, in a hurry I really, really need to speed to work Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry and hurry to get changed. All scrubbed and ready to go. Morning. Morning, Nurse Henry. 
Oh, Tina. <laughs> Nurse Henry asked me to give these to you. It seems to be in a wee bit of a rush. Well, we're all a bit pressed for time today. Oh, well, don't worry, I won't take up too much of your time. I just want to ask a quick question. Go ahead. Well, you see, I'm coming back to the hospital later on with a young boy called Nicky. Oh, Andy's mum. <laughs> Nicky has to get a plaster cast removed from his arm. And I just wondered, well, whereabouts should I take him when we get here? Well, before we take off the cast, in order to make sure that everything's healed properly, we'll need to x-ray Nicky's arm. So you'll have to take it to the x-ray department. Where's that? Well, if you just go left out of here, down the corridors, through the blue doors, turn left, take a second through the red doors, then follow the signs. OK. So, go right out of here. Left. And left. Out of here. And then through the red doors. The blue doors. And, um, just bring Nicky here and I'll show you where to go. OK, will do. Thanks, Dr J. Oh. <laughs> Calm, Juno. Samson, I hope you're having a nice, calm bath. I love to skip in River Sea Dingle, River Sea Dingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Dingle, River Sea Dingle, that's for me. Now, we'll put in this wee duck to keep Samson nice and calm. Good girl. Now, when Samson's in the bath, we'll all be gentle and quiet so he doesn't get too excited, OK? Right, you hold the shampoo, Gary. Come on, Samson. Good boy. Stay, good boy. Stay. Good boy, good boy. Oh, Dr. Juno would be so proud of you, Samson. Dr. Juno. Hey, Rudy. Nurse Henry said you'd be in here. How are you? I'm OK, but I'm just visiting a friend of mine who's not very well. Would you be able to show me the way to the cardiology department? Oh, um... Uh... OK, Rudy. Let's go. Ah, oh, Rudy, you found Dr Juno. Well done. Uh, uh, I need a word as well. What is it? Um, there's something the matter with the light in the examination room. It keeps flickering on and off. I've just been examining someone's eyes in there and it's a bit off-putting. I've called services and there's no answer and I've tried everything. Hi! I'm back. <laughs> it's just to say Nicky and his mum are in the waiting area, so I just wondered if you were ready to take them to the x-ray department. Did I interrupt something? <laughs> right. Nurse Henry, if you would just show Rudy the way to cardiology. And Tina, if you just go that way to reception, someone will show you the way to x-ray. Oh, and Nurse Henry, just get the switchboard to page services about the blinking light. <laughs> blinking light. <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> Like, I just got that. All <laughs> right, all right. <laughs> Off you all go. I better get to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. Right, here's an x-ray of Nikki's arm. Let's see if everything's gone to plan. Oh, pick a number, any number. A? A is a letter, not a number. But A1 is sesame prawn toasts. Personally, I'd go for A10, crispy prawn bites with sweet chilli sauce. 
delicious. Oh, Chuck, I've completely forgotten about our lunch date. I'm really sorry. Don't worry not. If Dr. Juno can't come to the Happy Sun, the Happy Sun can come to Dr. Juno. I'm just too busy for food. Too busy for takeaway? Come on, DJ. Everyone's got to eat, even you. And it'll be delivered to your desk by my fair hands. All right, all right. You've sold it to me. Let's see. Hmm. Well done, Nikki. Your arm's much better. The cast can come off. What's that? Um, I said, um, 79, chicken wings, hot and spicy. Steamed rice? You bet. And fried bean sprouts. Bean sprouts it is. OK. Great news. Your spare rib is completely healed. I mean, your arm is hot and spicy. Um, I mean, it's OK. Oh. What? <sighs> well, you're all better now. We can take the cast off today. Oh! <laughs> That's great. I'll see you in a mo. While I'm off to collect our food, see you in a bit. Oh, thanks, Chuck. You're a pal. I wonder what you're having for lunch, Samson. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Samson. That's for being a good boy. Uh -huh. Wait till Dr. Juno gets a whiff of you. You smell gorgeous, <laughs> doesn't he? Good boy. <laughs> Thanks for this, Chuck. I was ready for it. I've had the report typed up with your notes. I just need to sign it here, here and here. Oh, right here. Oops. Oh, I've been getting into such a muddle today. Oh, sorry to disturb you. It's just that Nicky's still in the examination room. It, he's been waiting for ages. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I've had such a busy day trying to do twice as much as I normally do that I've ended up doing less than usual. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I called in at Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. I rushed off to work at the hospital. At eight o'clock, Tina arrived. She had a lot of filing for me and some news about a boy called Nicky. Nicky was coming to the hospital later on to find out if he could have his plaster cast removed. At nine o'clock, Rudy dropped in with a big bunch of flowers for a friend. But he was a bit lost. At two o'clock, Chuck arrived to tell me I'd missed our lunch date. Chuck agreed to help me out by ordering some takeaway food so I could go and tell Nikki the good news. His arm was better and he would be having his plaster cast removed today. At three o'clock, I finally had something to eat when I got into a bit of a muddle with my food. And that's when Tina came to remind me that Nikki was still waiting to have his plaster cast removed. Now remember, less rush, more speed. Less rush, more speed. Of course. I've got to do one thing at a time and with care. I've kept Nikki waiting too long, so that's the first thing I'll do. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. I bet that feels good. Well done, Mickey. Your arm's all better now. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long. Yeah, I've got a few things for you to hear, Doc. Oh, one thing at a time, Nurse Henry, one thing at a time. Give me a few minutes to eat, and then I'll be ready to do something else. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I hope everything's smelling of roses with you, Samson. Your turn, Gary. Your turn. 
<laughs> oh, Samson, Dr. Jin will be missing you. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. Huh? Did he have fun? He was yes. fabulous. Yes. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Less rush, more speed. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a violinist to calm us all down which was just as well because Dr Juno was in a bit of a frazzle. Samson was a bit smelly, so after Dr Juno had sped off to work, I gave him a bath. The children helped. We had to wash him in a calm and gentle way by first throwing in a plastic duck so he didn't get too excited. It was fun drying him off with a hairdryer. After that, Samson smelled of roses and we had fun all day. Everything worked out for Dr. Juno too, once she realised more speed, less rush. Do you like having a bath? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, poppets. Come on. We are going to do some special painting. A bar of soap for you, Sean. Does it smell nice, Ellie? Mmm. I think I'll do some shapes. I'm making a double thing. That one. Okay, my darling, pick a brush, good boy. Now wait for this magic. When Granny Murray paints, I can see a circle, I can see triangles, circles, rectangles. Oh, look at that. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Kai. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, oh, it's Kai with Bobby. Hello, hello. and hi, my pleasure. Come on, way through. Mmm, <laughs> smells lovely in here. Reminds me of going to bed all clean and fresh from the bath. Oh, that gives me an idea. Now you're here, my wee darling. Let's dress Claude up in his pyjamas. Uh, That's right. And whoa, we whoa, can whoa, take whoa. our teddies oh. to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, talking of teddies, here. Oh, a little soap <laughs> teddy. Whose is that? It's Kai's. Oh. He loves it so much that he won't use it in the bath. He just wants to cuddle it. Oh, well, there's no harm in that. Oh, oh it smells nice. Mm. You know, my favourite soap smells of roses. Mmm, lovely. Do you know, when I was little, my brother gave me soap for Christmas. Mm. He kept nagging at me to use it. So one day I did, and I came downstairs, and my face was all dirty. It was trick soap. Oh, no, what did you do? Well, I just went back upstairs and washed it with proper soap. Sometimes you just have to start all over again. Mm, that's true. Oh, and look at Claude. He looks all lovely and clean and ready for bed. <laughs> mm. Don't let us keep you up, Claude. <laughs> oh, I think you should snuggle up with your teddy, Claude. <laughs> right, well, it's time for me to get off to work. Here, Mummy, take this to work. Oh, thanks, Kai. A sponge. Hey, watch this. 
sponge. <laughs> it's a scrunchy sponge. <laughs> Maybe I could use this to clean the buses later on. Mm. All right, come here, gorgeous. Mwah. Have fun, and I'll see you in the morning, OK? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> come on. <laughs> now then, Bainbird, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby. Make sure she goes the right way to work. <laughs> I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, last post. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. Thanks for helping me get to work, but now I need to get busy. Yep, it's time to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Hiya, Bobby. Sorry to bother you. I'm having trouble with my bike. The chain's come off. Oh, no. What a nuisance. I know you've got some tools lying around the depot. I was wondering if I could borrow them to try to fix the bike. Yeah, sure, of course. Use whatever you need. But um, I'm going to get on with some work if that's OK. No, of course. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> oh, what a lot of rubbish and dust. Ugh. Oh, dear. I think that this bus could do with a mop. Hmm, <laughs> where's my mop and bucket? Oh, sorry, Bobby. I used the bucket to put the oily bike chain in. Could you wait a tick before you mop the bus? Yeah, sure, no probs. <laughs> What's happened to your hands? Well, it's a rather mucky job fixing a bike chain. <laughs> oh, well, maybe this would help. You could use it to wash your hands. Oh, thanks. Right, I'm just going to catch up on some paperwork until you're finished, OK? Righto. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Kai's getting ready for bed yet. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, let's see. <gasps> wow, I'm going to catch lots of bubbles. <laughs> let's see if Teddy can catch some bubbles. <laughs> Well done. Wait till we tell Mum you and Teddy was catching bubbles. What are you doing now, Mummy? Thanks for the use of your bucket, Bobby. I've taken the oily chain out and put it onto my bike. Come and see. All in working order. Oh, wow. Well done. Oh. And I cleaned my hands, so here's a sponge back. Oh. Thanks a lot. Aw. See you later, Bobby. Bye, Dr. Juno. Ugh. I'm going to have to clean Kai's sponge before I pick him up. But in the meantime, I'd better get on with some hard work. Bobby boogie woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright Buses, bye bye soon. Clean in while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. 
The day away, swing into the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hubcaps glitter, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares, leaving then arriving. She will get you there. This boss is stopping, dropping, picking up, and putting down. This boss is shining, is the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie slipping over, flipping under, running round and scrubbing up. She really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she rubs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. Phew! One bus all sparkling and clean. Time for a break and a brew, I think. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, Raymond. Have you just finished work? That's right. I was on my way home, but I had some food left over in the buffy car, so I thought I'd bring you a snack. Oh. <laughs> it's our speciality, ratatouille. Oh, mm. well, um, I'd better go and wash my hands. Oh, right. Well, I shall set madame's table. <laughs> Table for one, madame. <laughs> Dinner is served. Bon appetit. <laughs> Tar ever so. <laughs> right, I must get home. Enjoy your meal. Cheerio. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Bye. Mm, this looks nice. Mmm. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. It makes me feel all warm and cosy. Oh, I hope my Kai's feeling all warm and cosy too. I used to do when I was a little girl. I used to make a big soapy beer. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh you look like Santa. <gasps> Give one to Granny Murray. Ooh, oh, 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 tickles and tingles. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose we better get you washed. Okay, Mr. Man, can you give yourself a wee wash? No, don't get them wet. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay. What about this? Can you wash yourself with Granny Murray's big sponge? That's it. Don't forget to do behind your ears. We don't want potatoes to grow. You'll smell fresh as a daisy when Mum comes to pick you up tomorrow. Are you cleaning all the buses? Right. Time for me to get back to my mopping. What? Where did all these mucky footprints come from? Oh! They're everywhere. I don't believe it. I've spent all evening cleaning this place, and now, well, it's dirtier than ever. Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's house. The whole place smelt of lovely clean soap. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Dr Juno called by to borrow some tools because she needed to mend her bike chain. She borrowed my mop bucket to pop her oily chain into. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno had fixed her bike. She'd used Kai's sponge to clean her oily hands and it was filthy. At nine o'clock, I was working hard, mopping the buses with my bucket and mop. And just as I finished, Raymond called round with some ratatouille from his buffet car. Raymond made the depot into a restaurant for me. His food was delicious. Then, at ten o'clock, I grabbed my mop and bucket to start work again and saw dirty footprints coming from the bus. The whole depot is covered in yucky footprints. Dr Juno's oily chain must have made my mop bucket filthy so that I mopped oil all over the floors instead of cleaning them. Now remember, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. Hmm, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. So that's just what I've got to do. <laughs> I've got to clean all the buses again to get rid of Dr Juno's mucky oil. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. A 
like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure. She will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. There, everything is clean again. Ooh. Not quite everything. Oof, I better clean Kai's sponge. There. Your dolphin sponge is all lovely and clean again. Mmm, and it smells lovely too. Oh, I wonder what my little Kai is up to right now. And he's still holding his wee soap, Teddy. Oh, a gorgeous soapy smell from a gorgeous wee Ted. And you smell all soapy and clean too, Kai. Gorgeous boy. Your mummy will be here to pick you up in the morning. Where are you, Mum? <laughs> Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you. Bye-bye, my treasure. <laughs> oh, and thanks a bunch from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you've got to start all over again. Save the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you home. Come on, Kai, let's go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing. Shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in pajamas because we'd been making some soap paintings when Bobby arrived with Kai. The smell of soap made her think about having a lovely hot bath before snuggling up in bed. And she showed me a special soap teddy that Kai loved cuddling instead of washing with it. I found some bubbles and me and Kai had really good fun blowing bubbles and then popping them. Then Kai had a bath before bed. We gave each other soap suds beards. The whole bath was full of soap bubbles. Bobby needed to use a lot of soap bubbles to clean the depot too. She remembered that sometimes you've just got to start all over again. I tucked Kai up in bed and he fell asleep with his little soap teddy. They both smelt lovely and clean. Whee! I love playing with bubbles. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs>